Formula Healthy Mix Foundation. So it has SPF 20 and it retails for $14.90 USD, but I don't think you can get it in Singapore. I've always wanted to try this foundation, but I didn't manage to find it in Singapore. So when I was in Poland last year, I saw it in their local drugstore and I bought it there. I paid about less than or about $15 Sing dollar for this foundation. So I'm in the shade MW2 I don't think there are a lot of choices back then so I didn't really manage to choose the shade that matched me the best I just took this off the shelf because I think it's the closest to my skin tone so I've used this foundation a few times already before you use it you just have to shade well and my first impression of this product is that it's very lightweight and it's very comfortable on the skin as well that's why it's called the healthy foundation so today we will be trying it together on camera and the applicator is really cool so it's not your usual foundation applicator it comes with like a big wand like this then you just have to apply it on your face okay usually i don't apply that much foundation on my face because i feel that uh, my skin doesn't really need that much coverage so I'll just apply it like this Then I'll be blending in the foundation with my Real Technic sponge which I have not washed for uh, I don't know how many weeks Okay so this side As you can see right the Foundation can be blended in to your skin very easily and it's really really lightweight as well. I love it. But the coverage for this foundation is not very very high. It only offers like light coverage. So if you have um, skin concern, for example acne scar or whatever, I will not recommend this foundation because I don't think you will be able to cover all that. And this foundation will not be able to help you to achieve that flawless skin. So this foundation is definitely for people who doesn't have a lot of skin concern to begin with. You just want a healthy glow or you want um, a little extra to help you to look better or to achieve a better complexion for everyday look. It's very light on the skin, very comfortable. It just gives you the very healthy glow as you can see on my skin here. So I've already blended in the foundation and this is how my skin looks after blending in the foundation see my earring is so extra right? it's been like months since i wore earring because we are all under quarantine okay not really quarantine it's called like circuit breaker here in singapore okay so this is my skin after blending in the foundation really really light and the coverage is very light as well and it's really really comfortable on the skin i feel that my skin can breathe even with this foundation on that's what i love about this foundation okay so yeah okay so moving on i will be using some concealer the concealer that i'm using today is from this korean brand called the same same concealer i think okay then I will be using this side Okay, usually I will apply my concealer to my under eye because I have really bad dark circles and a bit on my forehead and on the top on, on the tip of my nose also a little bit on my on my chin okay, Again, I'll be blending in with my Real Tannic sponge Okay, so I have blended in my concealer and this is how my skin looks now. I will just set my skin with a little bit of powder. So the powder that I'm using is from Kat Von D. This powder lasts forever. I got this um, two, two years ago, about two years ago. And 
I still have quite a bit left. <laughs> It's been so long since I wore makeup. What if after quarantine is over and I forget how to put on my ring liner? <laughs> and I feel so bored at home. So I'm just like hopping from Netflix to YouTube and back to Netflix every day. I finished watching like Too Hot to Handle in one day. One day. And I guess the show is really popular now. So if you watch it, who is your favorite character in the show? Everyone is talking about Francesca. Okay, so I will now move on to bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using is from Too Faced. It's the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer. I love it. It makes my skin look so glowy and so healthy. So I'll just mix both sides. Then I will bronze my skin. <laughs> It's impossible to finish this bronzer also. I've got this bronzer like two, two years plus and I'm not even halfway through yet. Okay, bronzer done. Do I look bronze now? Okay, then moving on to... The next step, I will be highlighting my face. So the highlighter I'm using today is from Colourpop. It's their Disney collection. So this is in the shade Horse and Carriage. I love it, it's super blinding. Okay, then I will just use my highlight, highlight brush. Then pop this onto my cheeks. Wow, look at that. Oh, I love it. So blinding. I'm thinking of cutting my hair after quarantine is over. Should I go back to short hair? So this is how I look when I had short hair. I will link it here. Then I'll also highlight my nose with this highlight. Oh, I love this highlight. Look at what it did to my nose. Instant nose drop. Love it. Oh yeah, I think I forgot to contour my nose. Okay, so I will just quickly contour my nose using my eyeshadow palette here. I will be using the shade Smarty Pants to contour my nose. Instant nose drop. Wow, look at that. For blush, I'm using my Wet n Wild. So this is one of my favorite drugstore blush also. It makes me look so healthy. Look at that glow. Oh, love it. Today, I will not be putting on any mascara or falsies because I still have a bit of lash extension on and I don't want to ruin them. I will just skip mascara today but I will still be applying some eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow palette I'm using is from Tarte. It's Tarte in Blue. Love this so much as well. So I will just take the shade Smarty Pants and put this shade all over my eyelid. <laughs> I'll just do a really quick and simple eye look today because to be honest, on a daily basis, I don't put eyeshadow at all especially when I go to work, I don't have that much time in the morning, I'd rather sleep <laughs> Okay, then I will use Rebel on the outer corner of my eye So this is to intensify the outer corner of my eye so that I, my eyes look bigger and more awake Okay, then you do the same to the other eye. Okay, then to blend everything in, I'll be using the shade Sweetheart. And again, put it all over my lid. I forgot to mention, the brush that I'm using is from Zoeva. This is 
their 227 Lux Soft Definer Brush. Then moving on to my lower lash line, I will change to a smaller brush like this. This is their 231 Petite Crease Brush. So I will be using the same shade on my lower lash line. First, I will use uh, Sweetheart. And I will use this shade over my entire lower eyelid to make me look more innocent. <laughs> then moving on, use a little bit, tap a little bit of Rebel and apply it on your outer lower lash line. Okay, then I will be highlighting my brow bone using the highlight that I used for my cheeks just now. So apply this on your brow bone. And also put a little bit on your inner corner. Okay, so last but not least, I will be putting on some lipstick. So the lipstick is the highlight today. I'll be using this super bold, super red lipstick from Stila. This is in the shade Peso. This is their Stay All Day Matte Liquid Lipstick. I've only used it twice. Once during Chinese New Year and the second time is today. <laughs> this red is really super red. That's why I don't want my eyes to look so crazy. Oh, look at how red the lipstick is. I think it's so hard to apply like bow liquid lipstick because I'm not an expert at this. the end of this look which is a really simple red lip tutorial oh my god so red okay let me do my hair and I'll be right back so I just wear this pair of uh, sunglasses on top of my head to get rid of my hair it's so irritating so that concludes this makeup tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. So if you want to see more makeup tutorial from me, just comment down below and I'll try to create more look for you guys. So this look is really simple. Just focus more on your lips because if you are wearing a bow lip, you don't want to have too much. I mean for me, I wouldn't want to have too much makeup on my eyes. So if I'm doing a really really bow lip like today, I'm wearing this crazy red shade on my lips, right? I will go very light or very gentle on my eyes because I don't want to be like screaming mm, I'm <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I usually do if my lips are very bold and very bright I will go minimum on my eyes like today I didn't even apply any mascara just really simple matte eyeshadow So if you're interested to see more makeup tutorial let me know in the comments below and that's all for today Bye!